एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शिबा इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूट्रोफिकेशन यूट्रोफिकेशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच एन एंटीयर बॉडी ऑफ वाटर और पार्ट ऑफ इट बिकम्स प्रोग्रेसिवली एनरिच विद मिनरल्स एंड न्यूट्रियस पर्टिकुलरली नाइट्रोजन एंड फोस्फरस दिस प्रोसेस हैपन्स बाय टू मेथड्स फर्स्ट वन इज नेचुरल न्यूट्रोफिकेशन in this nutrients derive from degradation of rocks and by the effect of lichens mosses and fungi actively scavenging nutrients from rocks second one is anthropogenic eutrophication in this type nutrients are added to a water body from any part of wide variety of polluting inputs such as untreated or partially treated sewage industrial waste water and fertilizers from farming practices eutrophication is considered to be a serious environmental problem and it results deterioration of water quality and the depletion of dissolved oxygen in water bodies excessive nutrients lead to algal blooms and low oxygen waters that can kill fish and sea grass and produce essential fish habitats algal bloom develop on the surface preventing the light penetration and oxygen absorption necessary for underwater life the excess algae and plant matter eventually decompose and produce large amount of carbon dioxide this lowers the ph of sea water and it is known as ocean acidification acidification slows the growth of fish and shellfish and can prevent shell formation in bivalve mollusk in this diagram you can observe the excess growth of algae next we are going to see about steps involved in eutrophication first excess nutrients enters to water reach to the different water bodies second extensive growth of algae causing algal bloom third depletion of dissolved oxygen and production of toxins fourth due to this aquatic organisms fail to survive which no longer can support life control measures improvement of wastewater plants and tertiary treatment plan has to develop reduction of phosphorus in detergents proper planning of fertilization oxygenation of water chemical precipitation of phosphorus in common we can tell improved municipal industrial and agricultural practices can reduce eutrophication